right. Ooh, jinx. We're back. <laughs> we we're back. are back. Uh, back in action. April 12th. Yep. Middle of April. How are you feeling? Mm-mm. This week, uh, <laughs> I feel like the past two weeks have been rough. Yeah. I would actually say, like, aside from, um, like, in the beginning where we had this, like, huge stress on the website migration for one client, mm-hmm. and then one week where, where basically one client left us and kind of it was not in a good way of communicating. We got yelled at. Yeah, <laughs> basically. But I feel like the past two weeks have been really rough for me psychologically in the business. How yes. You? No, I feel that. It's like a slow, <clears throat> annoying pain instead mm. of, like, a sharp, oh, shit, something's burning pain. And I think yeah. it's a... Uh, you know, it's not enough to be like, like totally breaking us down, but mm. it's enough to be like, wow, this kind of sucks right yeah. now. <laughs> but I, <clears throat> I think like, um, but you know, it's not. I'm not really giving up, and you'll talk about what Same. you're learning this week. But I also feel like, I I really do believe we're currently building a stronger foundation overall. Yes. And I hope that it will be utilized when the time comes. And we have a theory, which I hope is correct, <laughs> that it's you know, it's the last week before tax filing season in the U.S. Yeah. So we're like, you know, hopefully after next week, people will have like their refunds or less stress about taxes and hopefully business for everyone in general will get better. Yeah, hopefully. But I mean, I think in in general, though, I feel like this few weeks has been a good learning lesson and learning time for us. Like we've been able to see where the holes are in our system a little bit better than when we're doing well, Mm -hmm. which is like, I think has its own value in its own way. So right. Yeah, cool. we'll get through it we'll another see, day we'll at a time. Well, <laughs> we will all get through it somehow, just, whether it's through the business, whether it's <clears throat> outside of the business. I think no matter what, we will get through it. Get through yeah. it. So, yeah. And just and I will say, I think we both had said this as well. Like after last night, we, we rested a little more yesterday. Mm-hmm. I do feel a different sense of direction today. Yes. Like same. it's been rough Monday to Thursday. We're like, oh, no sales, low sales, or client service has been client service delivery has been sucking but mm-hmm. i feel like we're kind of reorienting ourselves and like really understanding how to move forward yeah i agree so speaking of that you want to talk about this yeah yeah so we actually have been doing a bit of hiring <laughs> in the uh you know sense of trying to grow um even though right now financially it's a little tight to do that um we basically hired somebody to help uh, our google ads person <laughs> And basically, I'm pretty sure they came to our first meeting, saw how much we were doing, and were like, hell no, I don't want to do all that. And they basically left right away. So we had to send out another requisition, and we are in the process of hiring another person for Google Ads. And hopefully, we will not scare them away. But maybe it was a good thing. I don't know. And then we're also looking for more cold callers because, of course, our sales um, system is kind of the most important thing that we're focusing on right now. So finding someone to help us out with that system is very necessary. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we actually uh, are in the process of that right yeah. now, which is cool. And speaking of sales, like I feel like lead generation is getting better. It shout is. out to Francis and our other VA. H. We, we should we should ask if you do wanna, <laughs> if you want to shout out. We'll say your name yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's cool because part of what we're doing now is like a lot of auditing. So yes. what Kayla and I do is we review all of the cold calls, recordings, um, look at their notes, and then this week. Or last week. This week this we week. started reviewing the lead generation, the lead, uh, the sources, the leads that are sourced, and it's actually quite fascinating to see like all these different businesses, websites, products that are being sold, and so I don't. Know, I think that's a cool evolution of the of the business. Yeah, definitely. We haven't. Um, I mean, we kind of did this with med spas when we first started, but like <clears throat> there are so many. There's a business for anything, mm. quite literally. So it's pretty awesome to see that. And then, um, yeah, basically we're we're getting to a point where. I think our lead generation, our sales system is getting better. So it's cool to see that happening. Yeah. In, in terms of clock, clockify or our time tracking, which I like tracking. Um, again, the goal for April was to do eight hours a day. Mm-hmm. Last week was the first time trying that. I think we didn't really achieve fully, but we kind of got there. And this week we did worse so far. <laughs> yeah. I like to call it the AT&T or I guess cell phone service. Cause like Monday, it's like we did eight hours on Monday and then like Tuesday was like seven, seven and a half. Yeah. Wednesday was like six something and yesterday we were like so I don't know if it's demoralized but we got to like five but yeah I don't know it, it's hard but I think we're getting better sense of what we should be doing and so we reflected how we be we should be using this extra time to help the sales end which we'll start calling again today mm-hmm. and then on the Google ads end to like help our Google ads person with like doing more work so he can focus on strategy mm-hmm. um, yeah yeah so that's something that we want to work on um, but I think we had a we had a rough time this yeah. week. Not to make excuses, but 
it uh, definitely took a toll, I think, on our overall mental, emotional, yeah. just well-being. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, oh, okay, we did have two bright spots in our <laughs> week. Um, and this is a pretty consistent bright spot of it being Survivor and The Amazing Race. There's something about reality TV that just, oh, takes away your problems mm. so well. So we watched... Uh, Probably a little too much TV for the current state yeah. we're in, but you know what? Worth it. YOLO. <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna be on the Amazing Race next year, or maybe this year. We'll see. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. All right. Reflections. Blah blah blah. Learning for the week. So we learned three topics. Uh, we tried to learn about three topics: business funnels, company valuation and selling, yeah, and couples communication. Yes. So which so one do you want to work on ourselves? Um, yeah, I mean, I can talk about um, business funnel and yeah. couples communication, and okay. then you can talk a little Sounds bit good. more about valuation and selling. So basically, <clears throat> there's these things, it's called a funnel, sales funnel, marketing funnel, bottle funnel, um, and it's exactly what a physical funnel looks like, where it's like you have a bunch of stuff that narrows down, and the whole idea is you get a bunch of people on the top that maybe not know about your product that well, or maybe they're not ready to buy and you try to get them down this funnel until the point that they're your customer and they come again and again. We don't really have like the strongest funnel or a funnel I feel like right now. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to figure out how to set up our funnel um, <coughs> in correlation with our website, our YouTube channel, all that stuff. So that's been fun. And then we're also trying to work on uh, our relationship communication yes. because I think we're very good communicators, Absolutely, yeah. but there's always improvement. So we are, you know, seeing what the internet has to say. And yeah. I feel like I've learned some good tips. So yeah. it's been good. But I mean, I second that too. Like I challenge anyone watching. I, anyone that I personally know, I feel like we have the best communication in terms of couples out there that I personally know. If you're watching, feel free to challenge that. <laughs> I, I still believe that from all my experience, from what I've seen personally, personally. Um, okay, and then the last thing we, we're learning about is company valuation and selling. I think it's something good. I mean, we're far from it, but I think it's good to kind of build a business with the thoughts of what if you sell it in the future? Yeah. That way you can kind of build in all of the fundamentals that is involved with building a good structured business that would be worth selling or that, that, that is worth a lot in the future. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're learning about that so we can kind of help with our growth. Yeah. All right, reading. So um, I think last week I told you I finished Deep Work and I'm in the middle of reading Never Finished, which is better. I find that like when I'm reading, I actually have to get through like five minutes of deep reading and then I get into a rhythm. Yeah. But I, I realize this about myself. If I read like one or two minutes and stop, I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm not in it anymore. So. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Anyway, Goggins is always like, you know, over the top, which, which I think is good for like what he's trying to do, right? Yeah. You can't just be like, you need to do this. You need to like, be like exaggerate yeah. so that you can actually go to this level. He's not like, well, maybe yeah. if you maybe think, um, cool. And, and who did you, who did you find recently? Oh man. I was trying to look up the title real yeah. fast. Cause I've been listening to it on YouTube, but I bet it basically finally have been listening to Tony Robbins and I understand why people are like, Oh my gosh, Tony Robbins. Oh my gosh, Tony Robbins. Oh my gosh, Tony Robbins changed my life. Like, I feel like he's actually, like, this book has made quite the impact for me only being, like, not even halfway through it. I feel like the lessons were so timely, and I do feel like my mentality is becoming stronger now that I'm listening to this. Um, and I would say, even if you're not in business, it's just a great book to read if you're just a human being. Um, because he really talks about, you know, a lot of different things about mentality, mindset, you know, emotions, relationships, mm. that kind of stuff. So it's a great book. I will find the title yeah. maybe next week because I, I don't can't remember. Yeah, I I feel like I listen to a lot of like influencers and motivators, but Tony Robbins is like in my queue, and I'm kind yeah. of like saving it for like a rainy day <laughs> because I feel like right now I'm currently self motivated enough, even though it's kind of like rough this week. But I'm sure there'll be a time where it's like really like dark in business, and I'm like. We got to call Anthony. <laughs> yeah, so. um, cool. That's good. All right. So big thing next week is WealthCon. Ooh, yes. Um, Excited. Ryan Panetta's, uh, I guess, like real estate entrepreneur conference. So we're going to go there in an attempt to hopefully get more business. We'll that's see. That's the intent. We got, oh, we should show We don't have here, but yeah. we have um, business cards ready and a pin ready to go. And <laughs> yeah. we got our schedule laid out. We got elevator pitch ready to go. So we'll see. Um, it's going to be a busy, busy week next week, but I'm excited because we need to we need to get out of this rut. We need to make it happen. We need to shake it up. And even shake if and I, I think it'll be good for us to go to WealthCon too, because mm. I think we'll be surrounded by people who are like yeah. of this mindset. Hopefully. And, you know, I think hopefully if we don't get business, we'll at least get a reset and hopefully maybe just be able to network a little bit, yeah. you know, see what else people are doing. So exactly. I'm we're excited. Yeah, we're ready. And just got to keep pushing through every week. Ooh, absolutely. All right. absolutely. All right. I think that's it. Yep. 10 minutes. Look at that. Good timing.
Boom. Boom. All right. Exactly. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. See you next week. Peace. Peace.